Today on Talk To Me, Jerry Seinfeld. Hey, while you stand there, can I ask you a question? Sure. So you've heard that Jerry Seinfeld is going to perform in Victoria, right? Why do you call it Monday Magazine? It comes out Wednesdays. What's the deal? Like Jerry Seinfeld's coming to Victoria. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I love Jerry Seinfeld. I love his comedy. I love his TV show. But what I don't love are his ticket prices. Would you pay $80 to see him? I wouldn't. I'm sure some people would. No. I'd pay so much you go there for, what, one hour? $80. I can't afford that. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. It's getting a bit steep, yeah. Is it like I, I, I think so, yeah. What's the deal with the blue bridge? Why is it blue? Why not orange or green or yellow? This isn't some big theatrical Cirque du Soleil show or an ACDC concert. This is one man, one microphone. Yeah, people, especially for like a comedy show, that should not be a high ticket price. Does Jerry Seinfeld really need more money? No, of no. course not. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld is worth about $800 million. Does he need more money? What's the deal with hip baby? Do babies really worry about being hip? I don't get it. Why not just charge 20, 30, 40 bucks a ticket so more of his fans can have a chance to see him? Oprah is appearing at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. Now all the cheap $80 tickets are gone. Apparently only the $300 tickets are left. $300. Does Oprah really need more money? I was going to go to Sarah Brightman, but no way. How much Absolutely are tickets for Sarah Brightman? I, over $100. What's the deal with a lucky yodeling Christmas pickle? Why is a pickle yodeling? I don't get it. I've seen some pretty amazing artists and I've kept all my ticket stubs. Tickets in the 70s and 80s seem pretty reasonable. That's crazy, yeah. I remember I saw The Who back in, uh, uh, was it, uh, 80, 82? Uh, and it was uh, $16. It cost me $100, $100 or something like that with my cousin. Yeah, because what was the concert? ACDC. It's That's pretty good, though. Frank Zappa for, uh, what was it, uh, $10. I mean, Rolling Stones. Who wants <laughs> to see 70-year-old guy? I mean, come on. You go to the old folks' home, you know, and it's crazy. <laughs> What's the deal with Market Square? There's no market. It may not even be square. I mean, I know he loves performing. That's great. He yeah. still loves to be out there. Sure. But It'd be fun to see. But yeah, 80 bucks, you could just rent the video, couldn't you? Ticket. I have to wonder if that's Ticketmaster, though, or uh, whoever is charging. If they, oh, you got to pay for this, and you got to pay for that. I paid $300 for a Coldplay ticket once, so. 300 Yeah. <laughs> it was totally worth it. I went to see Madonna. Did you? I did. For one ticket, for $250. One ticket, $250. Uh, Nelly Furtado was like 75 bucks. Well, I, I mean, for really crappy seats, though, if you want front row seats, they're like, I don't know, I think 150 bucks. But if it's in Victoria, you know, you don't have to take that the ferry over, and that's an additional cost. Yeah, you don't have to worry about a hotel. Well, thanks. <laughs> Bye -bye. I've always wanted to have TV. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the concert, tell Jerry I said hi. Hey, maybe you can get me an autograph. Well, that is, unless he's charging for that, too. I'm Dan Kahn. Next time you see me, talk to me, will you? <laughs>